For these people of Afrin, life is now underground. This cave home to 12 people, a blanket on the floor, the only comfort in the winter darkness. As they crouch, waiting for danger to pass. CNN has obtained exclusive video from inside Afrin. It shows how the threat of Turkish airstrikes has driven families from across the Kurdish enclave into caves and basements. Many here say they've lost family members in the last two weeks since Turkey launched its offensive. And below ground, sorrow hangs in the stale subterranean air. We are poor people. My husband was killed. We have no place to go. What are we going to do? 11-year-old Yasmin says she lost her father last week, a fighter defending their village. My dad was killed, and me and my mum and my brothers are all here in the cave. It is really dark here, so we are scared because it is really noisy. They are conducting airstrikes. What did we do to them? We are just kids. Why is this our fault? This is what they are running from. CNN video shows how airstrikes and artillery have shattered the streets. Turkey sees the Kurds as a threat, as Kurdish leaders have long sought an independent Kurdish state in the region. Our homes are destroyed. This Erdogan is dropping bombs on us. We lost our homes, our children. Nothing is left. Why would this happen to us? The general manager of this hospital in Afrin City says they're overwhelmed with the number of wounded. On one ward, a mother mourns her 10-year-old boy, wailing, how will I ever live without you? Doctors say he was fatally injured by Turkish bombing in the city of Taranudi. Kurdish officials say scores of civilians have been killed and hundreds injured by the Turkish military so far, though CNN can't independently confirm the exact death toll. In a statement to CNN, the Turkish government said they're only targeting terrorists and that sensitivity is shown to avoid damage to civilians and innocent people and to the environment. The UN estimates 16,000 people have been displaced across Afrin and says some civilians are being prevented from leaving by local authorities. With no escape, people are left to find warmth and shelter anywhere they can. Hala Garani, CNN. Thank you.